the mystery of rising legends, from the paper kite to the boomerang. When we fly a paper kite, it begins its ascent to the clouds. What is this act of celestial magic all about? If you've ever wondered how thin paper and string defy the sky, join us for a scientific dive into the principles of flight. Our paper gliders aren't just toys, they're the key to understanding how heavy metal machines like airplanes are kept in the air, why maple seeds swirl in fall swirls, and even how a boomerang returns to the thrower. All of these phenomena share one invisible but omnipresent ally, air. To understand this phenomenon, let's take a simplified drawing of our kite. Let's imagine a paper hero with tilted wings taking flight, where gravity and wind play a duet. The air meeting the kite doesn't just impede its movement, but also participates in the lifting force. Let's understand. The air pressure hitting our kite can be decomposed into two components. One breaks it, and the other pushes it upward. Thus, when we firmly pull the kite's string, we are not only making it move forward, but we are also propelling it toward the heavens. And this is where the magic happens. If the lifting force is stronger than gravity, our kite will lift off the ground and soar high into the clouds. Airplanes use the same basis. The driving force of a propeller or jet engine replaces our hand, but the principle remains the same. So, understanding the paper kite opens up the mysteries of much larger and more amazing flying machines. Next time you look at a kite soaring through the sky, think of the invisible forces of air that give flight to everything from light paper to the titans of the heavens.